Hello guys, I am Jitender back again with a new video on the Office Get Tutorial channel. Today we are going to see how we can design a professional looking resume in just PowerPoint. Now before I move forward, I just want to tell that many of my might be thinking why in PowerPoint? So it's all your preference. I, you can make in either Word or PowerPoint and if you have Photoshop installed, you can do the same thing there also. It's all your preference. So I, I usually prefer to draw in PowerPoint because I feel more flexibility in order to move the text boxes here and there and in order to jump around with the things. So without any further ado, let's jump to the video. So this is the resume here we have today. I'll show you how you can make this resume in PowerPoint. By the way, if you want to download this template for resume, you can just go to the description box. The link is given there. So for this tutorial, I, I'm not going to explain more of the part because it's just these are the simple text box placed over here. I'll just show you how you can change, make a layout of this or if you want to make your own other template or other resume of your own, you can quickly do it. So without any further ado, let's start. So first I'll press Ctrl N to take a new document. Just I'll change its layout because I don't want any text to be there. I'll just change it to blank. Now you can see the slide is empty and the page size is not A4. So I'll just come to design slide size custom slide size under the slide size for I will choose a4 sheet so I'll click portrait and click ok since we don't have any content to choose you can choose any of these two so I'll go with maximum like in word we have uh, we usually give one 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 inch margin on the every side but in PowerPoint you don't have such things so in that uh, so for that we need to add some custom margins here so what I'll do, I'll take a rectangle, I'll press shift and drag this rectangle. I'll come to the format and I'll give it half inch size. So I'm going to give a half inch margin on both the sides. So I'll just give 0.5 I'll, and I remove the shape outline. I'll place it over here and again I control D. I'll press control and D and drag this on the other side. So I'll just quickly show you what I'm doing is so now this will be my work area. So these two boxes define the margin around my my slide. So I'll just delete this. Let this two be there for our reference later. Uh, I'll be just quickly jumping between these two. So now uh, we need to create this uh, gray color box here. So I'll take a rectangle. I'll draw it here. I will change its shape fill to somewhere around little gray, not too much. And I'll remove its outline. So just I'll go to shape outline. I'll make it no outline. And here we go. So this looks more um, almost like I'll reduce it a bit. So you can see the dimensions here. It's uh, its width is almost three. Let me take it to one number so that we'll be on the same ground. Three inch is the uh, dimension for this. Next, I'll just quickly take some content here. Okay, another thing that matters in resume is if you're making your resume with Times New Roman font, that's, that's not going to give the look or the modern look. So you need to use some different font. For this today's tutorial, I'll be using Roboto and lato link for this two font to download will be there in the description box you can use any of these two font uh, i've used roboto for the heading and lato for uh, the remaining text or the body text let me just take a text box uh, don't go more than 12 font so i'll just type here education and i'll change the font to roboto and i'll just make it bold okay i'll just keep it here somewhere uh, let us bring that our reference box on the top so I'll just right click here and it bring it to front so this box is anyhow we are going to delete at the end education came here right click in the text box here come to format shape now you can see you have a little space over here so what I'll do when you right click here you'll get to format shape come to this third option and just make everything zero here here we go so next uh, we have to make a line so this line is there before that I'll just uh, make this box I'll just copy this box again here and I'll stretch it till here I'll take a line I'll draw from here to here so that it remains for the same length and I'll place it here go to shape outline and give it some gray color and give a line one and a half point however this part is done now I'll take this text directly anyhow there is no big deal making that press control and drag it and remove the bold and you can write whatever content is required like April 20 14 to 2018 just give a space here and what you can do just re reduce the font a bit 
11 or 10 you can make and uh, so i'll just quickly place the other text they are all same and you anyhow you can follow up with this template so i'll just zoom out and copy all the text from here control c and control v i'll just adjust it a bit Let us delete the previous text box because it's overlapping with it. So I'll delete it. Okay, so here we go. Uh, this text is ready. You can edit it in case, uh, just for example, you want uh, experience to be first. What you can do, just keep your mouse here and select it here and just move it a little bit this side. Or what you can do, you can group this so your workflow will be a little easier. And select this again, group it and take it up. So you can just play around with the things so this flexibility is uh, not there much with word so that's why i used to prefer uh, uh, powerpoint to do resume design now coming up to the photo you have a photo here so how to uh, say you have a photo so let me take a random photo so i'll do insert picture so let us say we have this photo here okay so the photo is way big i'll just reduce its size okay now how to turn this photo into something like this it's pretty easy you just come to crop expert ratio one ratio one and just drag the photo to fit in the frame and just click crop so if you're happy with a square photo uh, that's okay i usually prefer a circular one that looks more modern so i'll just come to crop again crop to shape and i'll choose the first shape called oval so the oval when I click it comes like a circle because it's one ratio one so oval will become like a circle and again I'll come to picture border and I'll give a border to differentiate it from the background and border width let us increase a bit so I'll make it one point and uh, this is a simple text place over here you can play with the template it's all your choice I'll just place it here again Okay, these are simple text boxes there is nothing special here and again you have this profile and everything here these icons you can copy from my template so i'll just place it here let us just directly place it here Control v and here we go okay and now since uh, most of the things are done and uh, we can i can delete these three sorry this content me didn't come here okay Control c Control V. Let me zoom in there to set it. Yeah. Now you want to save this. Just come to the file, save as. Uh, I'm choosing this resume design PowerPoint folder, and you can just change it to PDF. My resume. And uh, I'll check it on open open file after publishing. So that's all. I'll click save, and here we go. You have a very high resolution resume with you in PDF format. So I hope you learn something with this and uh, if you find it helpful anyway, please uh, go and like the video and share and subscribe. Thank you very much. See you next video.